Good afternoon, lovely people. How are you all doing today? I hope you're well. Um, hello, surprise. I wasn't expecting to be doing this filming with you all today. Um, having said that I wouldn't be doing any filming for a while, I'm generally stepping back from social media. But, whoa, I'm gonna spray everywhere. I'm doing this job this afternoon, which requires me to sit here, spray lavender everywhere. So I thought, actually, you know what, while I'm here, I'm gonna turn the camera on and say a quick hello and a quick catch up because I know from um, so many messages, I know folk have been worrying about me and I honestly, I didn't want anyone to worry about me. I, I just needed time, um, time to do all sorts of other things. So I'll explain that in a sec. So yeah, for this afternoon, my job of the day, one of the things I've been needing to do amongst a myriad others is to get on with sewing and all those kind of jobs which actually generate me an income rather than social media which doesn't really generate much and part of the issue with social media is I love it I really enjoy it I love making videos especially in the garden or if I'm trying something new in the kitchen really really love doing those and sharing with you but essentially each video in terms of actually making it I mean when I sit on the sofa and chat it's much less just because it's I generally do it in one take but generally speaking for most videos in terms of actually doing the filming the editing the rendering all of that and then answering all the comments afterwards and it's not just answering the comments on YouTube but then that generates tons of questions I get via either email or private message through my Facebook page. Each one ends up representing anywhere between 10 and 15 hours of work. And I've been doing three videos a week for the last nearly three years. So it's, it's anywhere between 30 and 45 hours of work every single week. And then on top of that, I'm doing my shop, I'm doing my sewing, and of course, as you all know, doing cares for my great aunt bits and pieces for other people and amidst all of that uh, I kind of basically forgot to look after myself so this is a little bit of a catch up and I'll tell you some of what's been going on to reassure you all hopefully and reassure me but after this video there might not be another video for a week there might not be another video for two weeks I'm not sure the, the bottom line at the moment is I'm not, I'm not planning a schedule around making videos as I have always done until now. I'm just getting on with all the other stuff and my time with my great aunt is, is more time consuming at the moment. So yes, today my job for this afternoon is I can't, I'm gonna hold it upside down because the seam that I'm gonna hand stitch is at the bottom. But can you see? Oh, oh, finally, the light's gonna be mental because I've got these overhead lights. Um, my little patchwork lavender bag. So they're all patchworked on the front and then they're plain on the back, but it's upside down now with my little love label. It's funny, when I, when I was first cutting everything out, Obviously I put the label on all my buntings. The labels aren't cheap, but I love them. And originally I wasn't gonna put them on the patchwork bags, but then I thought, you know what? People, everyone who's bought bunting so far, one thing they all say is they love my little label. So I thought, yeah, even on a little, if I hold it this way, I'm gonna to have to hold the seam shut. <laughs> even on, Oh no, it's gonna go flying. Even on a little lavender bag, all of them are gonna have my bit of love. So yeah, I'm filling them. They're all, they're about 16 centimeters square. So they're small enough to stick in your knicker drawer, 
but they're big enough to put under your nighttime bedtime pillow. Oh, it's so beautiful. So I'm, I, I have less French lavender than I have English lavender. I've got about another two bowls full of English lavender. So I think what I might do is put a little bit of both inside each little lavender bag. Hopefully, uh, well, I'll get them all filled and then they all need a little, do you remember when I was doing my patchwork and I was talking about my little whip stitch? So they'll all be hand finished with a little whip stitch along the edge. I could finish them on the machine, it'd be much quicker, but I don't know, I think a little, seeing some hand stitches will be even more special. So there we go, hopefully they'll be in the shops in, the shops, not the shops, they're not going to be in Wilco's, far too expensive for Wilco. Um, yeah, so hopefully they'll be in my shop in the next few days. Anyway, so that's what I've got to do this afternoon. Uh, I was supposed to be working for someone else this afternoon, but that has been shifted. So I thought, actually, this is a really good job to get on with. I'm going to send it flying. Oh, I'm being... Yeah, let's have a cup of French and a cup of English. I'm being nice and generous because I can't stand it. You know, you see um, lavender bags in the shops and they're too scant. I want these to have a nice plump squashiness to them. So I'll just carry on doing this as we chat. Okay, so last time you saw me, it was Sunday on the sofa on Friday. I don't know what to call this video. <laughs> it's not Sunday. I'm not on the sofa. It's not a TIY video. Actually, I might at some point make a video of how to make these. I'm sure most of you can work it out for yourself, but anyone who's new to sewing might not know. And besides me showing you how I do it, you might get a few extra hints and tips. Just get those stalks out because I don't want to put the stalks in anyone's bag. Yeah, so the last time you saw me, it was that um, Sunday on the sofa on Friday. Uh, I'd just been for some bloods. So I haven't been back to my doctor yet, but my doctor did phone me and some of my bloods are off. We didn't discuss which one, it's really clunky, isn't it? Sorry. We didn't really discuss which ones yet, except for my vitamin D, which is kind of odd because about 14 months ago, I'd gone and had some bloods done for something completely different. I wasn't, you know, I mean, I was feeling tired, but I always feel tired and I kind of think that's my norm these days. Uh, and at the time the doctor said, oh, we'll do your vitamin D. And I said, oh, don't bother because I'm always outside. And in the summer, when the sun is really strong, I always, well, I tend to, I try to go out in the morning with no sunscreen on, for 15 20 minutes or so and then later on when i'm going to go out say i'm going to go to the garden for a few hours that's when i'll slather myself in sunscreen so at the time i said i you know don't bother you know it's fine you know, we'll just put it on it's just part of your standard bloods da, da, da. they came back low um it was it was marginally low but it was low so at that time, my doctor recommended I get a supplement, which I did. It's one of these sort of over-the-counter ones. I went to Boots, you know, go wherever you like, but I went to Boots. Oh, come on, baby, a little bit more in there. Don't be mean with your lavender. I <laughs> that was a bit too much. So I've been taking these supplements for... 14 months or so. Anyway, the, the call this morning, she's a bit alarmed by the fact that uh, not only is my vitamin D low, it's actually on the floor. It's just virtually non-existent. So she has, I, I'm not, 
So this is all on the phone this morning. I'm going to see her in a couple of days for a proper appointment. Um, I think it's a couple of days. I've lost track. I've literally got a list on my kitchen wall now. I'm trying to juggle so many things at once now. It's ridiculous. And actually that's one of the reasons for just saying, you know what, I'm gonna step down from posting on my Facebook too much, not getting into correspondence with people, not filming, what have you, because it's just, I can't, I just don't know where I'm at. Anyway, the point is, um, what was I saying? Oh my goodness, yeah, this vitamin D. So I haven't discussed the plan exactly, but I think what we're gonna be doing is, a mega, mega, mega high dose for a month, mega high, redo my blood, see how it's going, and then go on to a high dose for three to six months, see how I'm doing, and then go on to a sort of a maintenance dose. It's kind of bonkers, isn't it? So, you know, I always thought getting the sunshine was enough, but apparently once you go over 50, thanks for the reminder, um, it can be harder to create vitamin D from the sun. Uh, there's all sorts of other factors as well. I mean, I don't eat fatty fish. Obviously, I don't eat any fish at all. I eat less dairy than ever these days. But yeah, hopefully that will, that will sort out some of the bits of where I'm not feeling too great. Something that's been really annoying for the last few weeks is, and it probably doesn't show on camera because the camera's never that close, but I've got all this kind of skin here and here is falling off. I've got a sore in my eyebrow and another in my hairline here. They've just appeared for no reason. I haven't been bitten or stung or anything, but they're not healing either. And that everything just feels a bit sore and itchy and annoying so hopefully uh hopefully this high dose vitamin d will sort all this out too i've been putting my calendula balm on because in the past if ever i got a little a little patch of psoriasis which i have been prone to in the past when i'm really stressy a uh, couple of nights of putting calendula balm on and I'm good to go. I mean, I've literally been <laughs> slathering the stuff on for the last two months. It's made no difference. Anyway, so there we go. That's, that's as much as I know at the moment about my blood results. The others which are off, uh, we'll just discuss when I'm face to face with her in a few days, but the main thing today was she just wanted to get me started on this ultra high dose vitamin D today. So I should be going off to pick up my prescription shortly. Oh joy. I hate taking pills of any sort, but you know what? If, if my body is not doing it on its own, I'll give a little bit of help. So there we go. So the rest of the time, what's been going on? Um, <laughs> just, woo, just, actually I'm just balancing these, you can't see they're just out of shot, I'm just balancing them all on the top of my radiator for now, uh, I'll, I'll hook them all over to the sofa in a minute because I'll sit on the sofa as I hand finish them all, but um, the radiator is not on now, it was on about half an hour ago because I suddenly felt really chilly and um, that warmth of the radiator is starting to, it's like, oh, what is it in um, in The Wizard of Oz? Is it poppies when, they, when they're when they on their way to Oz and there's that, is it a field of poppies and they lie down and go to sleep? That's what's going to be happening to me in a second. So, otherwise, in the last few days, and in the days to come, I'm just concentrating on uh, my great aunt's cares, her immediate sort of physical cares and company, of course, but also, oh, I've just spilt a load on the table again, but also her doing, oh, it's like, um, what's that, like sound yoga. 
that's the last of my French nearly. Yeah, doing just doing loads and loads and loads of paperwork. And I will say this, that even when you have power of attorney for someone, it doesn't mean you can just make a phone call and sort something out. You know, it's you, it, everything's done by paperwork. Oh God, it's everything takes so long. So it's doing forms, documents, whatever it is, sending the power of attorney along with them in a recorded delivery envelope, although it's not called recorded delivery these days, is it? It's called something else, it doesn't matter. Plus getting a recorded delivery envelope to put inside, a self-addressed one, to make sure I get my power of attorney back. So all these little things that I want to sort out for her um, are just taking forever because I'm having to send one lot of things off, wait for the power of attorney to come back. Then it comes back and I think, right, what's this next bit I'm organising? So yeah, quite a lot of time at the moment taken up with paperwork, phone calls, red tape, backwards and forwards on the train. I actually fell asleep on the train coming back a couple of days ago. I rarely, rarely do that. Normally I'll read, just look out of the window and enjoy the view. Quite often on the way back, I sit with my notebook and I make plans for what I'm doing for the next two or three days, what have you, what have you. <laughs> but this time, sound asleep. I don't think I snore. No one's ever told me I snore, but um, almost certainly dribbling a bit. Who cares? <laughs> So lots of that going on, but the main thing is I've been trying to catch up on some sewing jobs. And like I said, these, the jobs which pay me, <laughs> I hate to be so blunt, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm not living in a cabin in the woods with my own wind farm, wind turbine, or my own water spring. So yeah, like I said, I just kind of, I was down with her last week. I was feeling really overwhelmed by everything, absolutely everything. And this is like my last but one visit. Coming home on the train, it was really quiet. I had the whole carriage to myself. And I was trying to work out what I was going to do for the next few days. I burst into tears. <laughs> like some kind of maniac on the train. It was, I couldn't control myself. But I think it was just trying to, I, I was looking at all these things that I kind of need to try and fit in and thinking I can't do it. And at the same time, obviously this is way before I'd been to the doctor, at the same time I was thinking, I feel crap all the time. It gets to four o'clock in the afternoon after working for sort of, you know, I get up at seven and I start work at half seven, eight. By four o'clock, I just want to go to bed. And I'm like, nope, you've got another six hours of work to do. You're nowhere near finished. Da, da, da. So I had this massive <laughs> crying session. Um, like I say, fortunately, the train was empty. or well, that carriage was empty. And looking at all my bits on the paper, and I just thought, stuff it the garden is going to have to wait uh videos are going to have to wait i can't do it i cannot do it all i've got to prioritize um so then it was weird because i had about another hour or so of my journey left and once i sort of made that decision that I wasn't going to make any videos for at least a couple of weeks. Just give me a chance to get on top of all this other stuff. Once I'd made that uh, decision, I did feel a huge sense of relief. Uh, oh, ow! <laughs> Sleeping beauty. Yeah, I felt a huge sense of relief and I thought, okay, yeah, that will work. That will work. Just for a couple of weeks. Obviously, it means... I lose income from not doing the videos, but the way I was trying to balance it was, can I work more intensively on the sewing in those in-between times and make more from the sewing than I would from the videos, which hopefully I can. Oh, funnel. 
Oh, this is my little tip, my, my biggest tip if you're doing lavender bags. When you're making them up, make sure, I'll show you this in a separate video, but you, you want to measure the, use a funnel. This is a jam making funnel. I don't make jam, but I have a jam making funnel because they're useful. Um, do you know, I think I once got this with the idea that it would be useful for helping me pour compost into small pots. I think it probably was. Anyway, just make sure you measure your diameter, sash, circumference, whatever, of your funnel and make sure you put an opening because it's so, so much easier to get your lavender in this way than to try and do it with a teaspoon or a tablespoon. I'm going to have to go and get another... Yeah, I need another bowl of lavender. Oh, God. Let's, let's pop a bit more in that one. Let me go and get some more lavender. First of all, let's get this one pinned up so that I don't inadvertently tip it up and squash lavender all over the floor. Gorgeousity. That's better. Anyway, yes, yeah, so to sum up, basically, I was just saying that I kind of made that decision and about making not worrying about videos for a while and generally social media my facebook page what have you what have you and it was straight away it felt like a relief which may sound odd because like i said i do enjoy it but it just it just meant that making that decision it is like I immediately freed up not only the time, but also the sort of, oh, I've really filled this one. Whoever gets this one, you see these little pinky flower. Oh, the light's so strong. Whoever gets that one, you've got loads of lavender. Um, yeah, it's not just the immediate time of doing it, but it's the thinking about it. It's the thinking and planning time. Because for instance, if it's the garden, I'm always thinking, right, what, what do I need to do? for myself, for my garden, what might be nice to share, to show other people, what might be useful for me to share and show other people, what's the weather doing, if I plan it for the Tuesday, what if the weather's rubbish and I need to do it Thursday, yeah, but on Thursday I'm going to my great aunt, can I do my great aunt on Wednesday and do the garden on Thursday, do you see what I mean, ah, I was kind of like I was touching on at the end of, God help me, what month? January, and I was talking about decision fatigue. It's just this all the time. So, yes, anyway, I'm glad I made that decision. And like I said, hopefully in, in sort of over the space of two or three weeks, I may do one or two vids like this, catch up, whatever, but they are not my priority. I'm not spending precious mental energy, planning them, thinking about them, worrying when I might get to do them because of the weather and all that. Duh, duh, duh. <clears throat> so in the last few days, like I said, there's been a lot, a lot of toing and froing to my great aunt. And when I haven't been toing and froing to her, I've been doing one of two things. I've either been sewing or I have been doing paperwork. Paper is so tedious, but I've got to say, there's something insanely satisfying about going to the post office. Oh, blah, I need more space. Going to the post office with a big fat wad of papers and your little recorded envelope, sending them off and thinking, right, that's another job done. That's a ton of paperwork. So yeah, mostly that. And while I've been doing it, I've been um, listening to a bit of radio, uh, there's not much sport on at the moment in terms of athletics or anything like that. We're not really into tennis yet. So the other thing I've been doing is, I just chucked a load across my table again. Oh, that's a generous one too. There's a couple of YouTube channels that I like. Oh, I forget the names, I'm going to have to find the links, but one is about, 
Oh, what is his name? Oh, I've forgotten his name, honestly. See, I'm hoping that the vitamin D will help with my... I've been really struggling, really struggling the last few months with memory recall, word recall. I can't remember words for things. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> I'm not right in the brain. <laughs> Hopefully the vitamin D is going to sort it out. Anyway, one of them is about a guy in either the 50s or the 60s who went off to live wilderness in Alaska. Pe 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 can't, pe pe oh, God, I can't remember. It's going to drive me nuts. I'll put, um, I'll put a thing. Link. <laughs> words? I've got no words. I'll put a link underneath. But I've also been listening to rather than watching. So all of these I listen to because everything I've been doing, it's been me. I'm looking at something, whether it's the paperwork or I'm sewing, whatever. I've been listening to Kate at the last Lonely Homely House. And I'm kind of mentioning that now because on my last video, someone said to me, oh, have you seen this channel? Doing sound yoga again. Have you seen this channel? Kate's channel. It's like, yes, of course I've seen it. I'm a big Kate fan. And what I love with, with Kate's videos is it's just the it's the beautiful quietness when she's sewing. So Kate's if you haven't been over to Last Homely House. It's a talking reference. If you haven't been over to her website, uh, her, oh God alive, her channel, where have you been, firstly? <laughs> um, go and have a look, I'll put links under this one. Um, her main thing is she's a quilter, so it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know why I stumbled upon her in the first place. Not that I'm a quilter, I'm not a quilter. I'm a patchworker, I'm a maker of pretty things with fabric, but I'm not a quilter. I'd like to be one day. Ah, oh, I need another lifetime, don't I? Anyway, so yeah, I've been listening to, to Kate's videos because quite often, oh, I've got another chunk of stock. So cross myself leaving that in. Yeah, quite often she's doing one of her quilting jobs and so for example some of her videos are like how-to videos where you need to watch and concentrate other times she's doing her work and just chatting so I thought well if it's good enough for Kate it's good enough for me but yeah do go over and have a look and in one of her videos about I don't know two weeks ago do you know what someone's going to kill me for talking with a pin in my mouth never talk with a pin in your mouth because if you take a breath in and take the pin in with you yeah um a couple of weeks ago she was asking her viewers and i thought oh i've never asked mine so i'm going to ask you today just something else to chat about hang on i've got another bowl of lavender <laughs> let's top this one up is what um how did you find my channel what brought you to my channel? So, <laughs> I know a lot of you will have seen me on um, Sean's channel years and years ago, but for those of you who didn't, what 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 kind of brought you over here? I'm always interested to know, although I've never asked it, because I think I've got a bit of an odd channel. <laughs> you know, I'm not a sewing channel, I'm not a cooking channel, I'm not a gardening channel. I'm not a daily vlogging channel. I'm a bit of a mixed up kid. So I'm sure probably the majority of people, the majority of you have come over and found me because of gardening stuff, because they're the videos that get the most watches. Although what's really interesting, this fascinates me. Oh, human psychology on a dreary afternoon with lavender bags. What's interesting is my gardening videos get the most views. However, my 
talking videos, whether it's Sunday on the sofa, and thank you so much for sticking with those, that's working really well, or my thoughts on at the end of the month, they're the ones that, they don't get a huge amount of views, but they get the most, by far the most comments and this wonderful interaction, conversation that we have. They're obviously the ones which are thought provoking. So that's great. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what brought you to my channel and why. And is there something you'd like me to do more of? I'm not necessarily gonna do it, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> so just at the time when I say I'm gonna be making less videos for a while, I'm now saying, what videos do you want me to make? But yeah, is there, is there something missing? You... So clunky. Is there something you'd like me to do with you? Show you? I don't know. Ah, just a word. I've done it again. I've got a pin in me gob. Don't tell me off. With my measuring cups, I must do it. I keep meaning to... Just wipe the spit off that pin for a pin in the bag. I keep meaning to separate them. So, you know, boing, you know how they always come on these kind of, like, oh, can you see that? Like, oh, fiddlesticks, that, to keep them all together. I did think about, oh, I'll just open that up, you know, like a key ring, I'll open it up and take them off because actually I'd like to use them separately. I don't need to keep them together. That is rock solid. So I think I need to put one end in a vise and the other end I need to get with my pliers and uh, rip it open. Until then, they're clunking and a clanking. This is such a lovely job to do and um, I'm really glad actually that I thought to just pop the camera on in order to have this. I've got more lavender. I'm not short of lavender. Yeah, that I've popped the camera on to have this catch up because, like I said, the 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 very last thing I want to do is make anyone have concerns for me and have any of you wasting any of your emotional energy, mental energy, worrying about me. Please do not put pins in your mouth when you're talking. Do as I say, not as I do. That's a proper mother phrase, isn't it? Do as I say, not as I do. I'm running out of space. Oh my goodness, the smell is beautiful. But I've got all the backs showing to me and there's one, two, three, four different designs of the backs, but they're all in sort of pinks and reds, my absolute favorite hues. Let's pop that down. Oh, actually, let's just have a bit more lavender. I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. This is fantastic. So, oh, wiping my chops. Oh, look at this one. Isn't it gorgeous? Cherries, cherry red. One, two, three, four left to do of this lot. I haven't even started sewing all the blue ones yet, which were, if you follow my Facebook page, it's You'll have seen all the blues I had cut out to all the Liberty fabrics. These ones I've done today, these are all Tilda, Catherson, a little bit of, I think there's a couple of bits of Liberty, but it's mostly Tilda and Catherson today. So once I've got these stitched, hand stitched to finish them, They'll be going in the shop. I have put a few other bits and pieces in the shop. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see from there? This is, it's obviously going to be smelling of lavender now. This is an apron that I've got in the shop. I found it. It was in brand new condition. Still had labels and what have you. But it had obviously been hanging around for a while. So it was just looking a bit dusty and a bit creased. So I washed it and pressed it. So when whoever gets it, uh, it will come all gorgeous and fresh and sparkly, good as new. All right, my lovelies. So I'm going to just start wrapping up because um, honestly, my energy is 
rubbish at the moment. Like I say, it gets to four o'clock. It's nearly that now. And she's probably gone for, I can't see a clock anywhere. And just in these next few weeks while I'm not filming so much, I'm going to treat myself each afternoon to a little half hour kip. I've been avoiding it because there's another school of thought that we shouldn't, we shouldn't nap, oh, sorry, that we shouldn't nap in the afternoon. Oh, I need more lavender, I'll do it in a second. Yeah, we shouldn't nap in the afternoon, it spoils our sleep. But the way I see it is I'm not going to sleep at night, so I might as well get half an hour in the afternoon. And generally, if I have a half hour, ha, hello, <laughs> half an hour nap in the afternoon, I do then re-energise enough to carry on for another four or five hours. So that's what I'm going to do with myself now. But the main message is thank you for your comments on the last video. Thank you for your concerns. Please, please don't be. This is not, uh, I've had a couple of people email me like, are you finishing completely? Is this the end of your channel? No, no, I'm just, I'm just prioritising. And like I say, doing videos, responding to comments, responding to emails, responding to messages, responding to all that stuff. It's a huge amount of work for one person. I can't do that at the moment while I'm caring for my great aunt and, and other stuff. I'm trying to care for myself too, frankly. Uh, so that's a quickie to let you know I'm okay. Everything's okay. It's just busy and a bit burdensome weight, whatever. But it's doable as long as I'm not online. So I'm not going to be. So for now, I'm going to say cheerio to you all. Thank you so much for watching today. If you did, if you stuck with it. Um, like I say, the little bags will be in the shop in the next couple of days. I'm not sure when you'll see this. I don't know what the next video will be, when it will be, but there will be, I might, I might, I might do a quickie at the very end of the month, a quick thoughts on, because the idea of missing one of my thoughts on when I've done it every single month for so far 33 months, the idea of missing one, that offends my OCD. <laughs> so maybe I'll see you in about another week or so. Who cares? Yeah. I'll see you whenever. That's the best thing to say, isn't it? I will see you whenever I see you. But in the meantime, please all look after yourselves. Look after each other. Make the most of your outside time if you get some. Make the most of your indoors time if that's where you're stuck. But more than anything, just try and spread a little bit of love each day. A little bit of love and a bit of positivism goes a long way. See you soon.